Hey everyone, Bronco37 here, and uh, today I wanted to work on kind of a different project. Um, I got this, uh, I got this 73 750 over here that I'm, I'm projecting on. I've been cleaning out in the garage a little bit today, but I saw a guy online. Uh, his name is Ichiban Moto. Goes by. He's got a got a YouTube channel. Some of the guys on the forum have seen him, and he made this this uh, this uh, ultrasonic parts washer using some Velcro, a container and an old uh, sander so uh, I got some pretty nasty parts I've taken off of that thing and I was looking for a good way to clean them and um, I, I said you know what a lot of his stuff is kind of satire but I'm gonna give this a shot because it looks like it probably would actually work so I've got my sander here and I stopped at the hardware store and I got some velcro strips and I got this little bucket and uh, I'm gonna take some parts off of that bike, uh, the fuel pet cock I have, and I'm gonna put that in here, and I'm gonna use some various cleaning solutions, and we're gonna run this thing on top of here, and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what we have here so far, continuing on with this uh, ultrasonic cleaner made from a uh, orbital sander. So what I did was I took, the, uh, I took the shroud off around this, and then this is the backing plate, normally, um, you know, you, there would be these clamps on here and you would, you would clamp your, uh, sandpaper in there. And when, uh, Ichiban did this, he just, he just bent some sheet metal and, uh, and then stuck the Velcro to that and just held it just like you would a piece of sandpaper. Um, but I decided to go ahead and completely take this off. I got some longer screws and I just cut a piece of, uh, one by four here and, uh, drilled a couple of holes in it and got it screwed on here and got my Velcro on there and uh, got the uh, Velcro on this lid here we've got our bucket and so I think that we're just about ready to uh, throw some sort of solution in here drop a couple of parts in here let this thing bounce around for an hour or so and uh, see how it works so the first thing that I'm gonna try to clean with this uh, redneck ultrasonic cleaner here that we're kind of making is the fuel pet cock from my 1973 Honda CB 750 project that I bought and you can see it's uh it's pretty grimy inside and outside so this will be a good test uh, the, the the screws here are in really poor condition as well as this bowl here is all grimy inside and out so I'm going to take the screws out of here and I'm going to take this valve off of here so that the solution can get all around on the inside of here real good. And we'll drop the uh, parts in here and we'll fill it with solution over the top. Still not quite sure what I'm going to use yet. And uh, we'll plug it in and see what we can get done. So here we've got our, we got the parts are down inside there. Uh, I didn't have any real, you know, industrial cleaners around uh i didn't have any clr and stuff like that laying around and i didn't just want to you know use brake parts cleaner and all kinds of stuff like that so what i decided to go with was um about a 50 50 mixture of mr clean and some hot water and uh we'll see what that gets done cheap and easy let's see how it works okay so getting this thing to actually sit on the bench do anything is proving to be more difficult than i anticipated if uh if you, if you let this thing go, the whole thing just starts spinning around and wraps the cord up, uh, runs all over the bench. So I tried several different things. I tried uh, um, using, a, using a ratchet strap over the top of this and around this board and screwing this board down to the bench. And, and that was okay, but the vibration uh, soon moves the, wrap, the ratchet strap off of the top of here and then the whole thing's loose and then uh, you're up the creek again. So uh, I tried, you know, bunging some things and having some stuff hanging from here to try to support it, but that doesn't really stop it from spinning. So what I came up with was I, I bought several of those Velcro uh, pads and stuff because, I mean, hey, Velcro is pretty, pretty handy stuff to have around. So what I came up with now for the time being, and you know, I might come up with something a little bit better if this thing actually works, is I just screwed this board down to the bench, and then I've got a piece of Velcro on the bottom of the bucket, piece of Velcro on the wood, and that should hold everything just like that. So I'm going to let this thing run for, I'm going to set a timer for about an hour and we'll see what that does. We'll check back in. Yep, 
yucky gross and you can see there's some some real yuck all on the inside of this container I hope some of the parts in here are clean let's see what we got this is just as I pull them out screws okay that's everything that stuff is definitely filthy the whole inside of the containers filthy let's see what we got over here uh, hard to see with the sunlight that's that's nice and clean okay, the inside of here Inside of here is leaving something to be desired, but it needs to be kind of blown out. That's some pretty heavy grime, but the outside is is actually, I mean, it's it's pretty nice and clean. It's not it's not greasy or anything. A little flat washer in there. The screws, the screws came out pretty nice. So, I mean, overall, I mean, it's you know, what do you want? It's a it's a orbital sander. Velcro down to a container with some stuff in it, you know, maybe if I used a little bit a little bit harsher cleaning agent um, Might have got some of that that real hard stuff out of there But I mean as far as clean everything is clean. It's not greasy anymore. Everything seems to be real nice There's some corrosion and stuff still down in here, but I can scrape some of that stuff out and and uh, You know hit it with an air gun. So I mean, overall, if you got a bunch of nuts and bolts and things like that that, they're, that are just greasy and they're kind of a pain in the butt to get on, this is going to do a pretty good job for you. So I would say uh, it works. What do you know? What do you think about that? So hope you guys enjoy and you guys can build your own little cleaner and have a little bit of fun with it. Thanks for watching.